Along the path that leads to your blessing, I invite you to accompany me and allow me to lead you by the hand toward happier times. You should entrust me with all of your annoyances, discomfort, and any concern that the previous year may have left behind for you to deal with. You have become more resilient as a result of the difficulties you faced during the past year. You were confronted with challenges that were not of your own making. Do not hold yourself responsible for the tragedies that have occurred in the past. Liberate yourself from any notions that lead you to feel hopeless. Pay attention to what I have to say. I am a genuine and all-powerful God who loves you very much, who watches over you, who provides for you, and who protects you. The fact that you are here is not a coincidence or a mistake. Rather, it is a deliberate existence. Put the unpleasant relics of the past behind you and move on. It is important to realize that every single instance of misery and agony has served to prepare and strengthen you. Consider how you have developed as a result of the challenges you have faced and how you might prepare yourself for a future that is rich with divine benefits. You are surrounded by heavenly care and support throughout your path and your faith serves as a powerful anchor while you are going through challenging moments. Embrace the tranquility and blessings that come from having faith in the plan that God has for you. Through these encounters, you have gained a great deal of knowledge and matured tremendously. Right now, it is time to put all of the negative thoughts behind you. Your guilt, the problems that have not been handled, and the remaining uncertainties about your value should all be surrendered to me. You have the potential to rise beyond your concerns and face them with bravery because you are a true champion. Put your trust and faith in me and I will fill your heart with faith and trust. I would like to offer you the opportunity to get nourishment this year through the power of my living word, which is capable of bringing about remarkable changes in you and your family. Please hand over to me your regrets for mistakes you've made in the past, as well as the weights that are weighing heavy on your heart. In addition, please share with me the memories that you wish could be erased forever. I'm going to throw them away once I have gathered all of them into a sack that is sewn from the tears that I have wiped from your cheeks. Give some thought to the ways in which you might let go of regrets from the past and embrace a future that is full of faith and confidence. You are surrounded by heavenly care and support throughout your path, and your faith serves as a powerful anchor while you are going through challenging moments. Embrace the tranquility and blessings that come from having faith in the plan that God has for you. I have flung all of your sins, regrets and pains into the depths of the sea, where they will remain forever out of reach. In the event that you ever choose to ignore me, or in times of annoyance, you find yourself wishing to regain those mistakes from the past, you will discover that they are no longer accessible to you. I assure you that I will always be there to hold your hand. You are most at home when you are by my side. Today marks the beginning of a wonderful new chapter in your life, one that will bring blessings to your family as well as to you personally. Put your faith in the fact that I have incredible and beautiful things reserved for you. This is a promise that I have made, and it is worthy of your unwavering faith. I am not referring to a fleeting prosperity or gains that are only superficial. Rather, the gifts that I bestow upon you are of a much more profound and supernatural character that exceeds your conception. Take some time to think about the great blessings that are waiting for you in the future. When things are difficult, your faith will act as a solid anchor for you, and your path will be supported by heavenly care. The calm that comes from trusting in God's plan is something you should embrace. You are going to be showered with an abundance of my blessings this year. My affection for you is not merely a story or a transient illusion. Rather, it is as constant and unchanging as the very fabric of the cosmos itself. It communicates with your heart in a way that is both profound and genuine, indicating the extent of my passion for you. Whether you choose to embrace or reject this fact, to believe or dispute it, the choice is entirely yours.
If you walked away from my love because you felt that you were worthless or less than others, it would be a profoundly sad event. Think about the people who have caused you to question your own value. Take a look around at the universe and all that has been created. It was all made for you, and it is preparing the way for your bliss that will last forever. Despite the fact that the difficulties you are experiencing right now are only temporary, you will emerge victorious in the end, because your spirit will live forever. Tell me, who is your heavenly father, and I will tell you. Who is your son or daughter? Take some time to think about your divine identity and how it influences your path of religion. Every step of your trip is accompanied with divine care and purpose. You should put your faith in the love that is all around you and allow it to lead you through difficult times. You are going to be showered with an abundance of my blessings this year. My affection for you is not merely a story or a transient illusion. Rather, it is as constant and unchanging as the very fabric of the cosmos itself. It communicates with your heart in a way that is both profound and genuine, indicating the extent of my passion for you. Whether you choose to embrace or reject this fact, to believe or dispute it, the choice is entirely yours. If you walked away from my love because you felt that you were worthless or less than others, it would be a profoundly sad event. Think about the people who have caused you to question your own value. Take a look around at the universe and all that has been created. It was all made for you, and it is preparing the way for your bliss that will last forever. Despite the fact that the difficulties you are experiencing right now are only temporary, you will emerge victorious in the end, because your spirit will live forever. Tell me, who is your heavenly father? And I will tell you, who is your son or daughter? Take some time to think about your divine identity and how it influences your path of religion. Every step of your trip is accompanied with divine care and purpose. You should put your faith in the love that is all around you and allow it to lead you through difficult times. Thank you for your $50 contribution. It empowers us to explore new ideas and innovations. Your true father is me, and I value you more than all the diamonds in the world combined. I am your greatest treasure. There is nothing that can quantify the extent to which I value and cherish you. There is nothing that can compare. Allow this fact to get so deeply engraved in your heart that you will never be able to forget it if you affirm it just now. Move forth with your head held high from this point on. Due to the fact that royal blood flows through your veins, you must reject any type of degrading or humiliating treatment. You are going to become more and more like me with each passing day, so do not let any obstacle dissuade you. You are going to emerge as a tremendous conqueror who is filled with wisdom and my love as you work your way through triumph after victory. It is imperative that you pay attention to what I say and that you hear me clearly. In the event that you adhere to my instructions, you will not experience defeat. Continue to move on with the knowledge that you are meant for greatness as you march toward your destiny. Consider the ways in which you might live out your divine identity on a daily basis. Every step of your trip is accompanied with divine care and purpose. You should put your faith in the love that is all around you and allow it to lead you through difficult times. Your ancestry can be traced back to a kingdom. There will be difficulties and there is a possibility that you will make mistakes. Yet, you are forgiven by the grace of God. What then could possibly stand in your way? Now, I am speaking to you with the intention of instilling you with bravery. It is my deepest desire to remove any and all feelings of uncertainty from your heart and to implant in you the profound understanding that your worth to me is incalculable. Here I am to support you. You have screamed out for me, calling my name from the depths of your misery, and I have come to bring you comfort and to provide the answers that you have been searching for with such fervent desire that you have faith in me, fills my heart with joy. Through your prayers, your kneeling, and your invocation of my name in every situation, you have shown a great deal about your spirit. Your prayers are something that I hold dear, and I consider them to be a wonderful offering. 
even though I was aware of your requests before you expressed them. Consider the ways in which your prayers bring you closer to the love of God. Your unwavering faith is like a holy and fragrant offering that stirs my heart. Thank you for being so generous. You have a clear understanding that I love you and that I want to be of assistance to you, and this assurance that you will get what you have asked for is a confirmation that you will get it. You and your family will no longer experience the same level of suffering as in the past. I am going to bestow onto you the gift of understanding and develop your intellect. I bestow upon you the wisdom to anticipate and eliminate the strategies that the opponent has devised. You must have faith and take action in order to receive the blessings that I have prepared for you. Think about the opportunities that lie ahead of you and how you can make the most of them. I will instill in your heart the names of people who you ought to get in touch with about this matter. There may have been a significant amount of time that has passed since you last communicated with them, but I am sending you to them because I will bless you through these connections and you will become the answer to their prayers. Take into consideration the ways in which your outreach can affect the life of another individual. Did you recently experience a sense of being called to reconnect with someone? Comment below with your thoughts and observations. On this journey, you will encounter divine purpose and connections at every turn. When it comes to fulfilling your role in the lives of others, Put your faith in the love that is all around you and allow it to direct you. Child, this is the way I do things. Everyone who has faith in me and seeks me with a genuine heart is eligible to receive my blessings. A vast door is about to open in your life, one that is so grand that you will need to guard against pride in order to maintain your humility in the times that are to come. Become familiar with the holy books. It is important that you immerse yourself in my holy word and allow your faith and trust to be firmly established. Every morning, pay attention to what I have to say, hold my words in high regard, and remember to keep my promises close to your heart. Consider the ways in which you can incorporate the teachings of the divine into your everyday life. Your prayer, which you uttered from your knees, carries with it an incredible amount of power, love, Continue to pray with all your heart, my dear one, because when you believe, you are not merely touching the ground, you are reaching heaven. Having faith that my hand will tenderly caress you with my love is essential. In this moment, I come to you with a message that just cannot be delayed. Accept the divine message and talk about how it has manifested itself in your life. Comment Amen to demonstrate that you have faith in the presence of God. My presence is always present with you. I want you to communicate with me and using your own words, state that you have faith in me and that you recognize me as your God, your Father and your unflinching friend. Take some time to think about your relationship with God and how it affects the way you live your life. The unique purpose that I have fashioned for your life is something that I want to comfort you of. There is nothing but good in my thoughts and aspirations for you. Know that I am not here to criticize or punish you. Rather, I am here to save you. It is important that you do not allow hope to escape your grasp, that you trust a little more fully, and that you open your heart a little broader. Your beliefs are sound, your heart is unblemished, and your goals are admirable. I can empathize with the assessments and misunderstandings that you can encounter. It is important to keep in mind that your value is not determined by the acceptance of other people in this world where opinions can confuse our worth. In my opinion, the most important thing is the activities that you take. Let rid of the burden of the opinions of other people and put your faith in my ability to guide you. Numerous people in your immediate vicinity might assert their superiority, righteousness or entitlement. However, their hearts frequently wander away from me. Do not be afraid, for I will protect you from people who behave in a self-centered manner and do not care about your future. It's possible that they are envious of your faith and the relationship you have with me, but their power over you will not be successful. In addition to treating others with patience and kindness, you should embody forgiveness 
and be free of bitterness. Please give me permission to heal any and all wounds caused by rejection that may have affected your heart. Keep in mind that their actions not only reflect on you, but also on them. There is no way that feelings of inferiority or rejection can determine who you are. You have demonstrated a spirit of forgiveness by allowing me to become a part of your life, into your family, and into your home. Within your very being, there is no room for judgment or criticism. Every word that you utter has the potential to convey my love, free from any curses. I would like for your gentle heart to continue to be rooted in the situation that I have secured for this person. You have been completely purified and are surrounded by the intensity of my love as you stand securely on the rock of your redemption. In my opinion, the combination of your faith and your straightforwardness is a very lovely thing. If you are receiving this message, let a grin to spread across your face as you become aware of my presence within you during this time. I want you to feel the power of my touch on your heart. I, your all-powerful Father, am holding your hand wherever you go. Therefore, I want you to have a profound appreciation for this message. Recognize that you are never by yourself. It is my mission to instill confidence in you and make you more courageous than you have ever been before. We will work together to erase the concerns and anxieties that may be preventing you from enjoying the regions of heaven to their fullest extent. Always keep in mind that there is a supernatural conflict going on for your life and the well-being of your family. Because of this, I am strengthening you and developing you into a person who is determined and has a resolution that does not waver. It won't be long before those around you recognize the authority that I've instilled within you. You will be able to face your foes without fear, and you will be able to stand tall when storms are approaching. Believe in what you are saying when you pray, and have faith in what you are saying when you shout out. In times of need, you should show reverence by bowing your head, and you should extend your hands in order to get what you are looking for. I am the Creator and I am prepared to assist you in anything you entail. I am the one who is responsible for your trust, the assurance that you will be presented with the blessings that you have been praying for, and the certainty of what is not yet visible. This faith will allow you to participate in combat and emerge triumphant from the conflict. When you meet giants, you will be able to bring them down. Do not pay attention to those who are scoffing at you because they believe they can easily crush you since they are underestimating your ability. The fact that your father is the creator of the universe and is always prepared to defend you against those who wish to hurt you or decrease your faith is something that they are unable to comprehend fully. You will emerge victorious, irrespective of how powerful you believe yourself to be or whether you have the means necessary to combat people who perceive themselves to be exceptionally powerful. As your champion, your guardian and your shield, I am here for you. Maintain your firmness and determination, for with my hand in yours, you are much more than you are currently aware of. You are more powerful than you give yourself credit for. I am imparting onto you the ability to protect those who are innocent and the strength to do so. Anointing you with holy oil and instilling you with bravery is what I am doing right now. With my word on your lips, hostile forces will flee before you because you have the faith to heal people who are sick. Rise up, my cherished child, and take hold of this love that has been granted. I have many gifts and blessings in store for you, so stand up and be prepared to receive them. At the same time that I will personally reward you with triumph, I will remind you that you are profoundly loved beyond your imagination. I am devoted, and I recognize the sincerity of your attempts. It is very admirable that you have the drive to act in accordance with my will and to do what is right. You may not be able to see all of my answers just yet, but your trust is growing stronger with each passing day. You bring back memories of my devoted servants from the past, as well as those who put their complete faith in me. However, despite being subjected to robbery, persecution, jail and sorrow, hearts that were filled to the full with my spirit remained unbroken. 
my glory has been seen in your life, just as it has been seen in theirs. It is because of my presence that you have experienced the way, the truth, and the life. You are aware that miracles do occur, and that supernatural conflicts are taking place in the different realms of heaven. Together, we will face and prevail over these challenges, delivering you much more blessings than you could have imagined. Unwaveringly, I shall continue to stand at your side. Even when you are experiencing exhaustion as a result of the hardships, I will strengthen you so that you do not become faint. In no circumstance will I permit a difficulty to materialize without simultaneously presenting you with a solution to solve it. The phrase, I will never turn away from you, should be engraved on your heart whenever you are experiencing feelings of uncertainty. Accept this pledge and allow it to direct your actions. You are not going to be judged by me for your shortcomings. In the same manner that you have chosen the path of righteousness, I will instill in you a holy perseverance and perseverance like to that of my apostles. I know that your heart is seeking to turn away from sin. They witness the truth, the magnificence, and the marvel that I am. My anointing is stirring inside you, anxious to achieve great things through you, and I know that you are grasping what I am saying. Always keep in mind that your age is not a factor. What really counts is your unwavering faith. You will rise up, take victory, open doors, and smash down the walls that stand against you if you obey my command. You, my child, have been bestowed with supernatural ability, not for the purpose of boasting or acquiring titles, but rather to fulfill a vocation that is modest. You are special and a special choice. Due to your contribution of $50, we are able to broaden our audience and improve the quality of our content. Affirm your trust in me, for my love for you has become so profound that I cannot remain silent. These words of affection pour from me like a torrent of living water, renewing your soul and fulfilling your deepest desires. I am calling you to rise and stand with me as we enter a new period of miracles. I am calling you to stand with me. Your faith acts as a shield, bringing me immense pleasure, and I watch over you every day, filled with joy as I observe you pursue your dreams with a spark of faith in your eyes. It delights me when difficulties arise, and you grasp your faith, refusing to succumb to anxiety. You pursue your dreams with boldness, as if you are unconcerned, even when your world appears to be falling apart. When you are confronted by foes, you maintain your bravery and confidence, knowing that with me by your side, there is no one who can win. Even though you may consider your home to be modest and small, I am aware of the vastness of your faith and the depth of your heart. One day, I will open your eyes to the light that my presence provides and show you how thousands of angels stand guard around you, witnessing the blessings that I bestow. I cherish being a part of your life and dwelling in your thoughts from the moment the sun rises each day. If you provide your will to me and respond with genuine love to the loving care I extend, you truly shine. Cling to me with the relying on heart of a child, and you will feel the warmth of my love. When I say my affection for you, you believe wholeheartedly, seeking no proof to feel secure. You depend on me, even when I remain unseen. You are blessed because, despite the fact that your eyes have not seen, your heart has believed in faith and truth. Your humility moves me deeply, and your intense desire to love me and your family brings me enormous delight. You feel my presence, but you never demand signs to ensure that you trust me completely with your heart and intellect. You will be enriched in the endeavors that you long to pursue because your future is safely in my hands. Today, I heard your prayer, and I could not remain silent. I have come personally to affirm my love for you. Now let go of that burden that you have kept hidden deep within your heart. You are aware that it is harmful to you and that holding on to it can lead to destruction. I am speaking to you right now, and the reason you are hearing or reading this is because of the tremendous love that I have for you. If you give me your troubles, I will toss them away. Do not look for them again. Today, 
make a firm resolve to rise above those forces and people who pull you into a state of permanent confusion. You are aware that they do not genuinely care about your well-being or the well-being of your family. Despite their declarations of love, they secretly wish for your downfall, acting as destroyers of dreams and thieves of desires. They consume love and will not stop until they see you broken, blinding you with lies so that you are unable to see the truth. I offered my life for you on the cross, willing to forgive your transgressions and buried sins. These hidden burdens have the potential to cause death, but if you confess them, you will prosper. Remember that hiding them only leads to unhappiness and the loss of peace, which is not the life that I plan for you to enjoy. Recognize the hallowed ground upon which you stand. You cannot approach your promised land burdened by secret crimes. Come to me, for this is what I await, the bravery to speak your truth. I come so that you can experience life abundantly, free from resentment, bitterness, or any other feelings that could contaminate your experience. You have never been closer to me than you are right now. Even if you believe that you are able to conceal yourself, behold, here I am, prepared to embrace you. I will remove the clothing of shame that you are wearing and provide you with the garments of my integrity. There is no place where you can escape my presence. Wherever you go, I am there, reminding you of my promise. If you turn away from wickedness and repent, you will be forgiven. If you embrace this truth and put on the path of forgiveness, today is the day that you will be saved. Today signifies the end of every curse that has lingered in your home, your family, your finances, and throughout your present, future, and past. The shadows that once cast darkness over your life are eliminated. You will no longer be besieged by feelings of depression, confusion, frustration, or unrest. Negative thoughts and emotions will find no home within your heart. I offer forgiveness, healing, and freedom to all those who give up their responsibilities on this day, which is your day of liberty and blessing. I want you to lift your gaze to me, abandoning misguided paths and seeking me with earnest devotion. Do not let fear burden you or cloud your mind with imagined barriers. Even the walls that are visible to your eyes will crumble under the might of my word and power. If this strike a chord with you, please like and comment Amen to embrace this promise. You are helping us fulfill our aim of providing high-quality material by donating $50. We are grateful to you. Do not give in to fear or discouragement, because I am with you wherever you go. I died for you on the cross, and my resurrection has erased your guilt, allowing you the right to a life filled with divine pleasure and peace that you have yearned for. Do not give in to fear or discouragement. Believe in this truth. I am prepared to perform miracles within you. Immerse yourself in my word and fill your being with my spirit. Sing to me, whether you sing it out loud or in the quiet of your room, and allow your soul to resonate with praise. Allow me to lead you to a realm that is beyond the ordinary, where supernatural blessings are waiting for you. Today, I am bestowing upon you the power and the purpose that you have been searching for. Reject any thoughts of inadequacy that could lead you to loss and disregard any notions of superiority that could entice you to pride. You have persevered and are standing strong, and that is what truly matters. I want you to cherish my words and get ready for the astonishing miracles that you are about to witness as we begin this new month. I want to extend my blessings to you, but I ask that you let go of the past and the memories of those who have attempted to harm you. In the next days, hold to my word of truth and anticipate many wins ahead. However, do not let success distract you. Remain humble, keep your senses alert, and never stop praying. As this month comes to a close, I ask upon you to be filled with bravery and to set aside any concern that you may be experiencing. You are in for a month filled with success, and there is a lot of work that has to be done. Keep going with all your might, and when you feel exhausted, I will be there to pick you up in my arms, restore your strength, and infuse your spirit with newfound bravery. Remind yourself that with me by your side, you are unbeatable, and you are capable of accomplishing great things. 
have faith in what I have to say, and look forward to the road that lies ahead. I will provide you with all the resources, intelligence, wisdom, and abilities you require. Dare to dream big and visualize yourself soaring to great heights. Nothing is beyond your reach because we can accomplish your ambitions together. Many of your goals will demand perseverance and time, but I will supply you with all you need. Imagine living a life that is rich in plentiful blessings, health, and prosperity, where you and your loved ones have more than enough to share and give. You have been chosen to be a blessing to others, and soon you will embark on a new journey that will be marked by extraordinary miracles. Have faith in my power, because it is real and unwavering. I have made a decision to bless you abundantly, and I do not focus on your faults and failings. I loved you before you were born, and you are forgiven. Keep in mind that it was I who picked you, and not the other way around. You are prepared to receive my blessings with joy, accept them with love, and believe in them with faith. This month, I will reveal my power to you. I am attentive to your prayers, and your blessing is on the horizon. Now is not the time to falter or retreat. If this has struck a chord with you, please like and comment Amen to affirm your faith. You have dreams, and your soul has longings. Your heart feels a profound need for a miracle to restore peace to your life and to your family. Remember that I have a plan not only for you, but for all of your loved ones, including your children, those who are far away, those who you haven't seen in a while, and those who are living under your roof. I am clearing your path and vanquishing your enemies so that you can proceed without any obstructions. Embrace a mindset of faith from this moment forward and do not allow your days to be consumed by doubt or overthinking about whether the blessings I have promised will arrive. The blessings that are offered by my mighty blood will reach every person who is dear to you. Your prayers will never be in vain. I will never deceive you and my promises will always be fulfilled. Pessimism has the ability to blind you and a lack of faith can make you numb to the beauty and goodness that is already present in your life. Take a look around and see the blessings that I have bestowed upon you. Give thanks for your life and for your family, despite the fact that they may be imperfect. Just like you, they have their flaws, and they may not always understand or share your dreams. However, keep in mind that you were once in their shoes. The purpose of reflecting on your previous mistakes is not to linger on them, but rather to develop a better understanding of them and to evolve as a person. This introspection is a way to deeper empathy and love, which will allow you to impart the knowledge you have received to others. Maintain a spirit of grace and patience. Continue to be steadfast in your faith, confident in my love and expectant of my provisions. Be unafraid of obstacles or challenging circumstances. Anticipate the blessings I have in store for you with unwavering faith. I'm eager to pour out my blessings abundantly this month, beginning with your family. Show them kindness on a consistent basis, even when they are difficult. Do you have faith in me? As we move into this new month, let go of the challenges you faced in the previous month and the people who may have caused you pain. You have triumphed and you are still standing. This is the thing that truly matters. You have remained steadfast in your faith, and you are prepared to continue the fight, confident that you will prevail over any challenge that lies ahead. Keep your faculties sharp and your prayers fervent. Focus solely on the path ahead, disregarding trivial distractions. Walk within faith, my child, and watch as I move powerfully in your life. I want you to be filled with courage, letting go of any anxiety that may arise in the days to come. I want you to hold tightly to my word of truth. I want you to anticipate numerous victories, but you should not let them distract you from living a humble and grounded life. When you feel the weight of exhaustion pressing down on you, I will be there to raise you up in my arms and infuse you with strength. Have faith in my presence and power. This month, there are many important duties that lie ahead of you, and I call on you to press forth with all your might. With the strength you require and the fresh encouragement in your spirit, keep this in mind. With me by your side, 
Who can stand against you? With me, everything is possible. Believe in the promises I have spoken and know that you are capable of achieving all of your dreams. Yes, it will require effort and time, but I will provide you with the resources, intelligence, wisdom, gifts, and talents that you need to accomplish all of your goals. From this moment forward, your mind will dwell solely on what is good, pure, just, and just. You will resist the urge to engage in or spread slander and falsehoods that tarnish your spirit and weaken your heart. You will be amazed at how much you have changed and how really lucky you are. As you continue to move forward, the people around you will recognize the change that has taken place within you. They will look beyond your previous mistakes and offer forgiveness for old offenses. As I pour an abundance of grace into your life, new opportunities will present themselves, doors will open, and blessings will flow. You will receive job offers that bring provision and prosperity to your household. This journey is one that you should embrace with faith and expectation because I am paving a new path for you that will lead to a better future, one that is liberated from the weight of the past. Imagine living a life that is filled with peace, where tranquility fills your days, where you are free from fear and restless nights. The power of my sacrifice has liberated you. No deceit, no curse can touch you now. Neither the adversary nor his agents have any influence over you. You stand cleansed in spirit, soul, lips, mind and heart. Embrace the calm and joy that come from walking in my light. From this moment forward, new possibilities will present themselves, doors will open, and blessings will flow. Your path is clear, free from the shadows of mistakes that you have made in the past. We're thankful for your $50 donation. It makes a significant impact on our channel. I will never forsake you. In your failings, I will not set you aside for your mistakes. Your desire to live separate from sin is apparent, and just as you have turned away from evil, I will continue to guide you toward righteousness. When you feel doubtful or lost, engrave these words onto your heart. I will never abandon you. Imagine living a life that is filled with peace, where tranquility fills your days, where you are free from anxiety and restless nights. The power of my sacrifice has liberated you. No deceit, no curse can touch your now. Neither the adversary nor his agents have any influence over you. You stand cleansed in spirit, soul, lips, mind and heart. Embrace the calm and joy that come from walking in my light. From this moment forward, new possibilities will present themselves, doors will open and blessings will flow. Your path is clear, free from the shadows of mistakes that you have made in the past. I will never forsake you. In your failings, I will not set you aside for your mistakes. Your desire to live separate from sin is apparent, and just as you have turned away from evil, I will continue to guide you toward righteousness. When you feel doubtful or lost, engrave these words onto your heart. I will never abandon you. I want you to be strong, courageous, and infused with my grace, which is more than enough for you. When problems arise, they have the potential to shift your focus. Remember me in those moments, so that they no longer have the ability to sway you. When troubling news tries to unsettle you, look beyond it and envision the bright future that awaits you. See the blessings that are moving toward you, remain calm and composed, because that is how I wish to see you. Accept my love and allow it to lead you through every difficulty. Know that my plans for you are excellent and that my blessings are on their way to you. Have faith in my time and continue to be strong in your faith. My love for you is profound and eternal. I announce it again. I love you. Soon, you will see these words everywhere, written in the sky, etched by the clouds, painted by the sun's rays on your walls at morning. Birds will chirp this truth in their songs, and flowers will carry its perfume. I am holding you and your family in my arms. You are secure. Hear me out. You are not the only one going through this fight. You will prevail, because I am granting you victory today. I am well aware of your requirements, even before they become apparent in your thoughts. But I would like for you to communicate your hopes and ambitions to me in a clear and concise manner. I want you to be certain of what you are looking for, 
to have a profound understanding of your wants and to be aware of the path that you wish to pursue. It is important to keep in mind that the road to success requires genuine faith, sincere devotion to prayer, hard work, and a significant amount of personal sacrifice. I pray that I may be able to grant you prosperity that not only enhances your life, but also blesses your family in an enduring manner, without causing you to suffer or being separated from me. That your family will suffer because of your absence, that you will be successful in the world, but absent at home. That you will be a beacon on the streets, but a shadow in your own house. That you will cherish those you love, and that you will not allow your ambition to undermine your peace of mind or your health. Please type Amen if you believe in these benefits, if you want to spread the message of divine transformation and joy, like this video, and share it with others. Subscribe to receive other messages of faith and inspiration. Let us embrace this path together with unwavering faith and appreciation. I have a lot of things planned for you, and if you only believe, you will be able to do everything I have prepared for you. I have a profound affection for you, and I am getting you ready for a new trip that will be full of wonders. It is imperative that you do not allow doubt to undermine your self-assurance or divert you from the route that I have determined for you. There is a possibility that doubt could take you into darkness, where the adversary will want to ruin your spirit by telling lies and showing contempt for yourself, whispering that you are not deserving of my benefits. I am bestowing upon you the gift of abilities and wisdom. Your heart, soul and spirit are freed from every oppression and curse that I have placed upon you. By this point, you will no longer be ensnared by memories that are burdensome or thoughts that are oppressive. I am saving your family and bringing them freedom at this very moment. You have this knowledge, you have this feeling deep within you, and you believe it with all of your heart. Do not wallow in feelings of guilt. Instead, work to cultivate understanding and forgiveness toward the people you care about. Instead of holding grudges or counting the number of wrongdoings committed by others, choose forgiveness and reconciliation. They are your family, and if the links between them are severed, then the blessings may also waver. Please forgive me if I have wronged you. Ask for forgiveness if you are the one who is at fault. You should not be afraid of their reaction. And if you are forgiven, you should choose to forgive again, even if it is not returned. Ensure that your heart is not filled with resentment. It is important to have daring dreams and to visualize yourself reaching new heights of riches, health and prosperity. Imagine that you and your family not only have all of your needs satisfied, but that you also have sufficient to offer to others and share with them. I have selected you to operate as a channel through which blessings flow and you will shortly set out on this new trip. Rely on the fact that everything is within your grasp. It is going to go just how I have intended for this adventure to go. In the near future, you will be witnesses to great marvels and your heart will confirm the actuality and truth of my power upon you. Take note that I am not concerned with the errors or failures you have committed in the past. You have been in my heart ever since before you were born, and I have already forgiven you for your transgressions. You did not choose me. Rather, I was the one who made the initial selection. You will be blessed, that much is certain. These blessings should be accepted with love, they should be treasured, and unwavering trust should be maintained. You have been blessed, and you will continue to be blessed in a significant way. Despite the fact that you have chosen the path of righteousness and are doing exceptionally well, your faith remains unshaken. Allow my words to permeate your entire being while you keep your gaze set on the commandments that I have given you. Although you have had a difficult time changing your direction, you have made substantial headway thanks to the effort that you have put forth. Your life has taken a new path and you have made it possible for the winds of heavenly favor to carry you ahead from this point on. The miraculous blessings that I am bestowing upon you are a direct result of your openness to change and your desire to undergo transformation. These words that I am imparting to you at this moment are life itself. 
they are a manifestation of my love, and with them, I take your hand to guide you through any difficulty that you may encounter. I am bestowing upon you an abundance of wisdom, raising your level of insight, changing your character, and bestowing upon you an extensive amount of patience. From the inside out, your life is undergoing a tremendous transformation. Your being is entirely engulfed and filled with my essence. It will no longer be possible for you to drift toward mistake or yearn for sin. You are no longer going to be drawn into the shadows by temptations. I am bestowing onto you the power to liberate yourself from the toxic habits that have entangled you over the course of your life. This blessing is your recompense for not concealing my word, for turning away from evil, for accepting my pardon, and for approaching me on a regular basis with a humble heart, anxious to receive my blessings. I observe your unwavering commitment, your determination to conform to my will, and the fact that your faith is getting stronger with each passing day. The loyalty you have for me does not fluctuate, even when my reactions appear to be distant. You are comparable to my most dedicated slaves, who are imbued with my spirit, and who have persevered through adversity while maintaining their resolve. In spite of the difficulties and tests that you have been through, you have not broken, and you have seen my greatness and power manifest in your life. The reality of miracles and the supernatural conflicts that we face together in the spiritual realms are known to you. These are wars that we will undoubtedly prevail in, which will result in even more benefits being bestowed upon you. Even in the face of defeat, I pledge to be there for you and support you. When you are going through difficult times, I will give you the strength you need to keep going and not give up. There will be no obstacle that is more tough than the power that I bring. And I will also provide a solution to every problem that one encounters. This blessing is your recompense for not concealing my word, for turning away from evil, for accepting my pardon, and for approaching me on a regular basis with a humble heart, anxious to receive my blessings. I observe your unwavering commitment, your determination to conform to my will, and the fact that your faith is getting stronger with each passing day. The loyalty you have for me does not fluctuate, even when my reactions appear to be distant. You are comparable to my most dedicated slaves, who are imbued with my spirit, and who have persevered through adversity while maintaining their resolve. In spite of the difficulties and tests that you have been through, you have not broken, and you have seen my greatness and power manifest in your life. The reality of miracles and the supernatural conflicts that we face together in the spiritual realms are known to you. These are wars that we will undoubtedly prevail in, which will result in even more benefits being bestowed upon you. Even in the face of defeat, I pledge to be there for you and support you. When you are going through difficult times, I will give you the strength you need to keep going and not give up. There will be no obstacle that is more tough than the power that I bring, and I will also provide a solution to every problem that one encounters. I want you to reaffirm your faith in me together. Pay attention to what I have to say, keep them close to your heart, and keep them in your heart at all times. Be aware of the fact that I am in command of everything. I am able to get my hands on every aspect. I strongly encourage you to keep your composure in the face of challenges when your feelings are engulfed and when your mind are racing toward worry. Understand that my plan is unfolding precisely with each piece fitting together like a jigsaw, despite the fact that it may appear that the circumstances are getting worse. I want you to know that my blessing is on its way and will not be delayed in any manner. Be careful not to let outward looks fool you. At this point, it is vital to refresh your perspective and not let the upcoming obstacles intimidate you. Because you love me, I will keep my promise to you that everything will work out for your benefit. I am confident that this will happen. You will be lifted up by me personally, and I will point you in the direction of success. You are heading in the right direction. I would ask that you please give me the opportunity to calm your fear. Take some time to think about what I said before you go to sleep. Give your heart permission to be filled with my serenity, my tranquility, and my divine quiet. This is the way you should always be, 
You should constantly be focused on the wonderful blessings that are present in your life because they are many and should bring you happiness. Please accept my words and let the profound feeling they convey to reverberate within your own being. You are able to feel a sensation that is unlike any other while you are in my presence. Divine delight. As you get up and go about your daily activities, allow my words to light a fire in your heart, destroying any sign of melancholy, uncertainty, uneasiness or anxiety that may be there. You are both my cherished son and my darling daughter, and you are loved very much. In every facet of your life, including your health, your work, and the relationships within your family, I'm actively seeking to improve. In this moment, I'm unlocking doors of significance that will bring about a tremendous change in your circumstances. My hands are on the difficulties you are experiencing, and I am effectively resolving each one of them. Raise your head and stop crying right now, because I'm about to shower you with my most powerful blessings. Type Amen if you believe in these blessings. Like this video and share it to spread the message of divine transformation and joy. Subscribe for more messages of faith and inspiration. Together, let's embrace this journey with unwavering faith and gratitude.